Hey everybody and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. We got our, our big boy up front here, looking at the map, figuring out what we want to do. Um, we do need to maybe think about purchasing more field teams eventually. We're pretty low on intel though, but we have these, like requires four or more field teams. Well now we have three, I think, yeah. Um, so if we had this, we could freeze District Unrest, which would be pretty good. So maybe we should spend some of our intel. We have to do this mission. Investigate, investigate Grey Phoenix. It's just required. Um, requires one or more field teams of rank 3. Requires a field team in every district. So what are these? Freeze District Unrest. Gain extra situation rewards. Reduce city anarchy. Um, I mean, extra situation rewards are always nice. I would assume. So, let's go... I mean, let's just try to unlock these in order. Would probably be the best thing. Um, requires four more field teams. So, we definitely want to put down a new field team. And what do we want, then? And where do we want to place it? Uh, I can place it here in the fringe, I guess. Do I want more finance? Do I want more credits? Do I want more intel? Or do I want more delirium? Um, I mean, let's go intel, because the more intel we have, the more uh, field teams we can put down, the more stuff we get. So it seems like that's probably a good... A good opportunity to keep that that uh, field team ball rolling. So let's go for that. Yep, let's put a field security field team in the fringe. There you go. I wonder, like, is there any opportunity to move them? You can replace them, but you can't move them. All right, so now we have this, freeze district unrest. I mean, do I need to do that? I mean, that's gonna go up. Well, I don't know, it's not gonna go up. It's just flashing at me because it's two. I don't know, but that one's not flashing. Whatever, maybe it is gonna go up, I don't know. We'll see, when we complete the mission, does angler point go up? Let's see, what are, we, what are we doing here? We got Spec Ops. Oh, we got a new new thing, Crisis Management. Is that because we just put down a new uh, a new field op? Uh, field team, liaise with 3-1PD Command Center to coordinate emergency responses throughout the city. Requires senior agent or higher. Okay, so now we have a senior agent. Uh, reduces city anarchy by three. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm sorry, you can just um, stop showing me the... The thing I know it's there I've clicked on it I, I'm aware of it please stop please stop highlighting it now thank you spec ops unlock new special operations are available yes okay now will you go away thank you and let's go I mean let's just get into it then critical mission investigate gray phoenix we will get minus two unrest in the stacks and 45 credits it is a difficult mission Ray Phoenix just shot their way into the city archive, which reviews and catalogs rare items and tech from an advanced operation or occupation, either way. Whatever they're after, we can't let them get their hands on it. Yeah, let's let's get to it. Um Axiom, you, you don't really have anything, that's fine. You do start with a ceasefire grenade, apparently. No, I already gave you the ceasefire grenade, my mistake. I forgot that at the end of last episode. So we have to go through a wall, a door, and a security door. Well, if we want to go through the wall, we have the breaching charge. And I've read that uh, your your reinforcements here, they come in at the start of a an encounter. So if on encounter one I had somebody go down or get evac'd, on encounter two, if there was an encounter two, then I could bring in my uh my android there 
course, that wouldn't be great because he's just a basic android with no upgrades, but I guess that's better than being down a person. An anonymous tip said Grey Phoenix planned to raid the city archives. Looks like they were right. You got there in time, but 3-1-PD is still en route. You'll need to stop Grey Phoenix without backup. Okay, What's that's fine. In here? Watch what you shoot. We do plenty of stuff without backup. That's what we do. Uh, do we want to go through the security door? There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. Or through the main door, successful shots on enemies will crit. I want to do fewer aggressive enemies. So patchwork. Axiom, you don't have an action. Okay. Um, Godmother, blue blood. Let's breach. Ready to go. All right, we got a muton boy, a surprised legionnaire, an alert adder. Oh, we have uh, we have vipers now. An alert legionnaire. An alert adder. Okay, so we got we should deal with the alerts. Let's go for the sixty-seven percent chance. Did four damage. I don't think that was enough to kill. Definitely was not. Okay, now we got big boy. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call you big boy. 57. You got a 100% chance to surprise, kill this guy, but he's just surprised, so I'm not really worried about him. Let's go for the alerts. Six damage. Good. 51, 51. I'm gonna take this 51 because if I hit and kill you, it's not really worth it. That's a big waste to use your shotgun on one damage. Though, I think you have a stock, so you don't miss? I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's try you. Okay. Don't have to worry about that anyways. And, uh... The alert adder. I could use my lancer shot. 70... Or 86. Let's just go regular breach fire. 71% chance. I did not regret it. And you guys... Oh, you're alert, so you're hunkering. Okay, so I did not know you were back there, I don't think. And this Legionnaire goes next. Which is bad, because he's right up on top of us. Could change old him. Uh, this guy could come around and flank me, so I don't really like that. Could he come to here and flank me? Maybe. But there's nothing I can really do about that. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move back to here. Watch my back. I see you. I'm going to stasis this guy so he can't get me. We won't be able to hurt him, but he won't be able to hurt us. Stasis. All right, there you go. You're downed. And, uh, there you go. Your turn's over. Now we have Axiom. Axiom gains rage by using Psych Up or by taking damage. Higher rage increases the chance of disabling enemies with Axiom's melee attacks, but also increases the chance of Axiom going berserk. Um, so Psych Up. Yeah, okay, you can stop telling me that now. Gains rage. Axiom increases the rage. This is like a personal buff to me. Or smash. Um, charges to a target and smashes down with a melee strike. Chance to disorient, stun, or render unconscious. I mean, that does a lot of damage. Just three to six. It's a potential we could kill, but it's very small chance we can kill. But if we can knock enough points off of him... That, uh, that Godmother can Fresh come. In the party. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll just get the six then. So I can't do anything about this guy because of his, his stasis. So, um, I'm going to just do a preparation maybe? Or I can overwatch. Preparation, Godmother. I've never really used this. Prepares for the next turn by increasing their defense by 30 and their dodge by 50. 
The next turn is moved earlier on the timeline. Removes burning. Um, where does it move it earlier on the timeline? Can I see? I mean, it doesn't really do much for me because it doesn't push it me above this guy's. So I'm just going to overwatch him. Don't know if he'll move. On Overwatch. When he comes out of... Be ready uh, for anything. I don't know if he'll move when he comes out of stasis. Okay, there he goes. He's unstasis. Stasis ended. Well, um, I could just change ult him. I could just shoot him. 69% chance it's not going to be enough to kill. I can't really see, but thank you. Let's change old him. Shocking hostile. Bring the hostile. No, not precision. And then maybe an overwatch will happen on his turn if he moves. Preparing to travel. Oh, yeah, there you go. You were real dumb. Okay, this door is, I think, where we're going. Nope, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm this door. I'm seeing a coded signal coming out of the archives. Does Great Phoenix have some kind of transmitter? My gremlin can triangulate. It's deeper in the building. All right. What do we got? We got a security door and a main door. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this present at this entrance, or. All units entering here get plus three mobility. I mean, let's go through. Let's all just pour through this security door. Worked before. Why won't it work again? We're going in. I saw some adders, some viper guys. Surprised Adder. Surprised Legionnaire. Alert Adder. Alert Adder. Alert Legionnaire. Alert Legionnaire. Okay, so 87. Let's go with an 87% chance. Good. And now, 64. I'm, I'm willing to take a 64. Good. 67. Remind me, what is Alpha Strike again? Oh, you get to go faster than the next next attack, or the next your first round is what I mean. Let's go 67. It's not enough to kill. So I'm gonna have someone that Legionnaire is gonna do something on their sh turn. But I believe we'll be able to kill this guy. There we go. So we have one alert Legionnaire that's gonna have an, have an action. He just hunkered. Alright, what do we got? Um, let's, let's take a look at the... What, what kind of cool items do we have in the museum? We have some mech parts. We have like an Archon hologram. Some eggs. Maybe some, uh, some artwork or things that were around... Just various goodies. Okay, well, enough of that. Who's going to go next? The le this Legionnaire. Well, you know what? Again, I could blow that up, but, you know, we're supposed to try to try to protect this place, not blow up a, a fire barrel and kill a civilian for no good reason. We can chain jolt that Legionnaire, but it's not going to do enough damage. So I think we just try to do the same thing. Let's stasis. Stasis this Legionnaire, please. So they won't get their shot. Freezing target. Alright. 
Oh, you still have an action available. Good to know. Now you can try to shoot this adder. Maybe get the kill? Crit. Good. Oh, did not get the kill, though. All right. The adder's going to go next. There's Axiom. Well, let's just send you in, buddy. You can shoot. For 88. Or you can just, uh... Or you can just smash a boy. Making waves! Um, you're dead. Okay. I guess you don't have a, uh, maybe you do. Maybe I just didn't see it. Did you have a less than lethal option? We should probably be trying to do that a little more. Okay. So this Legionnaire is going to move. He's not, not stasis. So I want to get a little closer with Godmother. And I I think I probably don't want to be grouped up. So maybe if I can try to get on the flank over here. I guess I could just ventilate him. That will definitely knock him out. Okay. There you go. You're dead. Hopefully that wasn't any, uh... The crucial stuff over here what we might have destroyed and uh, blue blood just just overwatch that guy in case he comes out of stasis Feel the fire covered good coverage basis ended yep let's change ult him zapping the target Whittle him down. And then we'll... He'll move and we'll shoot him. There. Good. I don't think Grey Phoenix came here for artifacts. They want what's on the secure servers. If they transmit what's on those servers, They'll have a map to every Illyrium stockpile in the well, city. Well, we don't want that we'll then. keep them off that transmitter. Let's go. Breach mode. All right, so we got... These aren't safe. We can go through the wall. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Or delayed snare. Last unit through this entrance will be rooted for one round. We'll definitely want to go through the wall. I'm sorry. We're going to have to destroy this... This TV. Sorry to tell you that. That's going to happen. I mean, we can just scan it up. We can... We can hollow... That's the third encounter, so who cares, right? So we can hollow... A grenade, and we can... Combat scan everybody. Is that... Which one would we rather do first? Increases the squad's aim by 15 against marked enemies. Aim bonus for squad during the breach of this breach point. Okay, so I guess it kind of does... I guess they kind of stack? Let's see. Let's breach. Knock, knock. Grenade out. What do we got? Aggressive Adder. Alert Legionnaire. Surprised Adder. Okay, let's go for the... I mean, you will hit four to five. You'd have to hit five. I'm not... I want to go here first, because... One of the... One of the shotgun people will be able to take you out. So let's go... Mm, no, let's go for the alert, boy. There you go. And now shotgun, you have a 100% chance, and you will get enough damage. I will alpha strike you, though. I mean, there's no chance, no sense not to, because this is the third encounter. 
So Godmother will fire her shotgun during the breach and will take their turn earlier on the timeline. Godmother also gains one bonus action. Okay. Then you can kill this one. Axiom. And then finally, I mean, that's a 63% chance. You got it? You missed. That's fine. Can't all be perfect. See that target? Don't give them an opening. All right, so here is where they're going against... Clear the administration wing, prevent the enemy from transmitting the Illyrium data. We got... Where where are you? Blue blood? I'm not sure that's a good positioning for you, buddy, but... If that's what you want to do, can't stop you. I mean, maybe I'll keep you there, because you can actually shoot twice. You'll definitely kill this guy. All right, and then a 63% chance. Not great, but it's either that or move you. I may move you so that maybe you can start flanking later. Who's gonna go first? Legionnaire over here, not real concerned about you, you're far away. Legionnaire over here, similar, you're far away. This Legionnaire. Okay, so you are going to go next, and I can kill you. I have a guaranteed kill on you. Fortunately, it might destroy some cover. I don't know if it will. Hopefully it doesn't, because that would be bad for our guys, but will I hit Patchwork? I may hit Patchwork. So maybe I don't want to do that. Yeah, if I'm going to hit Patchwork, that's not something I'm interested in doing. Though that... That's not so bad. I would hit that Python over there, too. I can just ease that back into where I was. No, I don't want to hit Patchwork. Can I just get where I was before? The Legionnaire. Yeah, but what, what about the Python? Not Patchwork, though. I think I had it somewhere in here... Come on. I should have just did it when I had the opportunity before. There we go. Legionnaire gets hit. The Python gets hit. Oh, we get a lot of damage on that boy back there. And it did not destroy cover. Okay. Godmother, you have three actions. So, you can just really get close if you want. You could come here. Though, these baddies, I don't really know much about them. I'm afraid they might have a tongue attack. I wish I could get information about them. Maybe you can, I just don't remember how. I do probably want to move up to full cover, though, and protect this spot. Who's going to go? Legionnaire's going to go. And then that Legionnaire's going to go. Um, yeah, what if we come up here? We will not have a shot on him, though. Who, would I, who might I have a shot on if I come here? Nobody. All right. Well, I'll come here and... Um, and Overwatch, maybe. All right, I do have a shot against you. I don't know why I didn't see that before, but I do. 68% chance. I mean, I don't think it's necessary right now. It will end the turn. I could subdue you. I could just run in and subdue you. I cannot run in and subdue you. I don't have the... don't have the movement. I could open the door. I could throw a frag out. Frag would kill you. But I think I want to overwatch these boys. It's probably going to come through one of these windows. 
unfortunately, the line of sight isn't great. Yep, there he goes. Five. Not enough to kill. He's gonna come inside and shoot me. Nope. That's all he did. Oh, you're gonna shoot me through the window now. Oh, you missed, though. Kinda would like to have, uh... <laughs> I'd like to have Cherub's... Uh... Shield ability right now. So, Adder and Python. I mean, you can just knock this boy out. So you do have a subdue. I could have used that before. That python I'm a little concerned about. Well, both of these guys, because I don't know what they do. I can only smash you. You're the only one I can hit. Even if I were to move. I mean, you're a shotgun wielder, so... It's probably not... You're not going to hit any long-range attacks. Let's just subdue this boy. Let's get into cover when we do it. Stop wiggling. You're caught. The adder moves. Comes in right on top of us. Poison's godmother. And then somehow buffs. Units that are poisoned take two damage at the start of their turn and suffer plus or minus two mobility and minus fifteen aim. So the python's gonna go. So the python has to be knocked out if I can. If I can get, if I can get line of sight of them. If I can if I come here. It's not a great positioning. Well, yeah, I'd have to be on the other side. Well, I can come right here, right here on the table. We have one enemy that's transmitting. That's fine. I will uh, change ult this guy. Guaranteed kill. Jolting the target. No, not precision. All right. Still one enemy transmitting, but that's fine. I can kill him. That's not enough damage, but I can still kill him. Can't subdue him. But I can kill him. 73% chance? Yeah, I'll I'll chance it. What else was it gonna do? Well, it didn't work out. Godmother got poisoned. That's fine. We can still work with this. The Legionnaire. I'm not concerned about him right now. Let's subdue this fellow. We'll end my turn though. So instead. Yeah, let's let's just knock him out. Arrested the target. Here comes Big Baddie. Oh, he's gonna bust through a wall. Oh, he did destroy Axum's cover, but he did not touch him. Didn't hurt him. Could smash you. Yeah, I'll smash you. You shoot at me, I'll punch you in the face. And knock you unconscious and take you alive. And I went berserk. But that's okay. Excellent. 60% chance to gain 20 intel. Godmother was just lightly wounded. You kept Grave Phoenix away from City 31's uh, Illyrium stockpiles for now. I passed it along to Reclamation HQ. Maybe they can figure out what Grave Phoenix is after. Three civilians rescued, three three enemies captured. I mean, it could have been four, because we didn't need to bash one guy's face in with Axiom, but... We're learning about him. Alright, minus two unrest in the stacks. 45 credits. Grey Phoenix is after large quantities of Illyrium. Why do they need that much power? Illyrium access would allow them to refine an explosive powerful enough to kill Mayor Nightingale. Grey Phoenix has the means. Find out if they had the motive. Okay. They could have built the bomb, but did they build the bomb? 
From what we've seen, Grey Phoenix is armed with restricted weapons. We don't know their source. That's where you come in. Determine where they're getting all their toys. Grey Phoenix leadership have exceptional technical capabilities. Their extensive local connections suggest time in City 31 before the war. You look like a muton outline, if I had to guess. Have you noticed the growing amount of violence in our city? I mean, I'm I doing have, a lot of the violence. Makes me wonder if 31 PD knows how to do its job. Hey, we're trying. That's a bold statement, Roger. All I'm saying is that it didn't used to be this way. Not when Shrike was keeping the peace. Oh, come on. Mercenaries make bad police. Everyone knows that. Yeah, everyone Maybe knows that, right, Roger. But at least there was peace. All right. Um, Cherub's still in training. For one more day. Uh, your terminal, still in Spec Ops. You're still assembling. It's fine. From what we've seen, Grey Phoenix is armed with restricted weapons. We don't know their source. That's where you come in. I know. We're gonna help. Promise you that. We can reduce district unrest. Like, we have that option right now. These two are going to go up. Well, I don't know. Are they going to go up? I don't really, haven't really figured out the, uh, well, yes, they will, because we are going to do, we're either going to do this, we can't do this, because we just don't know where it's at right now. That's fine. That's the thing we're trying to unlock. So we have to do support 31 PD raid, or locate missing informant. Do we want credits, or do we want intel? And right now, I, our intel's low. So I think we want the intel. Let's go... Well, let's check our... Let's check what we may would want to build. I don't see anything I super need to build right now. So, what are you... You're, you're researching... What? Enhanced assault rifles? Well, if I have to build the enhanced assault rifles... I mean, who even uses an assault rifle anyways? Is it, uh... Patchwork, do you use an assault rifle? Anyways, either way, it doesn't matter. We should build it. So let's go for the credits. I'm going to change my mind. We're going to go for the credits. 95 credits. That'll help us build. And so then, let's reduce district unrest over here. There we are. That will probably work. This one's going to go up. So why don't we freeze District Unrest here? It's a six turn cooldown. We may have... May have just shot ourselves in the foot. But anyways. Let's go do support 3-1 PD raid. An anonymous tip suggests a nondescript apartment is a stash house connected to our current investigation. 3-1 PD requested reclamation backup for their plan raid. Send the APC. And all those things were completed. And we got 95 credits. We have a couple agents idle. Training is completed. Consisting primarily of mutons, I'm sorry, Mr. Dash. The continued closure of the starport today, insisting on access to the facility. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League had this to say. Those starships are sacred territory. To keep us from them is yet another cruelty. One we have learned to expect. Jacinda Schultz of the Starport Authority responded. Prudence is not cruelty. We can't allow access to the facility until it is deemed secure. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. All right, Celio Dash, thank you for your reporting. We removed the scar. We got the Illyrium. A couple agents idle. We completed this. The, the assault rifle research. We don't have the Illyrium to research master crafted anything. So we could research weapon optics. That costs nothing, just time. Breach explosives. Breach tactical equipment. Sacred coil equipment. Sacred coil knew how to defend and disrupt. Might be worth replicating. We could learn bubble grenade, bubble weave, 
or kinetic screen, sacred coil fire gear, we would learn incendiary grenade and dragon rounds, um, modular androids, expert field teams. We're not really using the androids, so I feel like it's not really beneficial to us at the moment. Would we want a meta patch? A hollow scanner or a target analyzer? A ceasefire bomb, a smoke bomb, a flash bomb? Laser sight or scope? Um, let's go weapon optics. It'll just take two days. I mean, do I want Verge to be in there doing that? I don't know. A couple of agents idle. I could do another spec ops with one of them. Some more money. Oh yeah, we need to check our supply. Build that enhanced AR. Oh, it says right here, agents affected verge, patchwork, and heart. Oh yeah, heart is the the android. So verge and patchwork would get a, a little bit of a bonus. So that's good. We're using patchwork. Let's go for that. Now we're low on money again. So I could send one of you to get us some money for the spec ops. One of you could go through training. So if you went through training, Cherub, you would get mobility plus two. I wanna, I wanna remove you, I'm sorry, no. New person. If I sent, I'm sorry, I could just click select a unit. If it's terminal, you get HP plus two. Um, let's send you HP plus two. And, Cherub, I'm fine with, well, you know what, I probably should have thought things out a little more. I probably should put some people on active duty instead of, because now we have Cherub, who is a special agent. Yeah, you're level three. I really probably need... Is anyone less than Special Agent? Yeah. Well, you are, but you're new. Probably should take Godmother out. I mean, you're just a terminal. You definitely need to get into the battle, because you are way behind. And I should be doing on these easier missions. You should be going in. Um, but you know what? kind of screwed myself right now. Whatever. Let's let's have you do your training. Um, and by screwed ourselves, I mean because we set these people. Agents idle, you go get us some money, please. We're low on money at the moment. Go ahead, Cherub. Spend three days doing that. Probably should have checked out what the uh, the mission here was before we did that, but scavenger market is open today. Well, we only have 20 intel, so that's not going to be... Yeah, we can't buy anything. We could have bought a plasma grenade. Damages and removes armor. Destroys most cover. Uh, advanced autoloader. Or the Lonely Herald. The Advent prototype shotgun. Man, that would have been nice to have. Uses rare alloys to reduce its weight. And use run and gun. Man, that would be perfect. But we don't have the intel. So, um... Let's check. I think I'm going to end the episode. But let's check to see what we need to do. We can stop the smash and grab. That takes two days. Gives you two days towards the operation reveal probably don't want to do that. I've been told don't do those missions because you're just shooting yourself in the foot because you don't have enough days to level up. We could take the arms robbery. We get an epic pistol. I'll take an epic pistol. Minus one unrest in the switchyard. Mercenary. Strike mer mercenaries are present. Or the slow burn. You'll also get an epic pistol. Minus one unrest in the downtown district. That's very difficult and this is very difficult. So, um, if I can get very difficult 
if my options are the same, epic pistol and minus one on rest, and it doesn't matter because both of these are minus, both of these are at one. If I get an epic pistol and have mercenaries on site, or just an epic pistol and no mercenaries, I think we're taking this one. But we'll do that in the next episode. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you again next time.